Hey Explorers, so today's video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to be under shelter in place in Atlanta and the state of Georgia, to see if people are actually following their social distancing rules while I go out and photograph the shelter in place um, Atlanta areas. So when I go out, I am being mindful of the social distancing policy and I'm only going by myself. I am staying as far away from people as possible. And um, the first time I went out, it was before we went into shelter in place. So I believe that is March 24th. I'll mention that in the video. And the second time I go out was this past weekend, which was April, what was that, 4th? I don't know, Saturday. Yeah, April 4th. Mind you, our state just went under shelter in place on Friday, the day before I went out. So we have to be back inside at 6 p.m. And we have where you can't have over 10 people in a location for a gathering. So I'm minding that. And I also started wearing a mask everywhere I go. But you won't see me with one when I'm out on April 4th stage when I'm at the Atlanta Braves Stadium um, because I was keeping my distance from people. Trust me, I keep my distance and wash my hands and change my clothes when I come in the house, whatever. But definitely mind any CDC, CDC guidelines. If you go out, don't go out, and especially if you're older. So now let's go see what the city looks like. So I look ridiculous because I've been working from home, you know, in quarantine or whatever. So I'm here by myself so I can be as ridiculous as I want. And when they try to do video chat online for work and they don't tell you, I just keep my camera off because I have a lot to do in the morning, particularly with my hair. So I'm actually about to go out because in my state as of today, which is March 24th, 2020, they have not really issued any real regulations on staying inside. Um, obviously, it is highly recommended to stay inside and only go out for essential things. And obviously, you should still go outside to walk in your neighborhood, keeping your distance away from people. But that's besides the point. Go to cdc.gov, um, who.gov, whatever, and or who.com, I forgot the website, to get more information on that. But I'm actually, and yes, I just washed my hands and I've been inside since Sunday, so I can do this and I have allergies, I can't help it. But I'm actually about to go out. I do photography and I'm going to go out and take some photos of the city without traffic. I'm not gonna be around anyone, so I'm not going to um, break those rules. So let's go. So this is my camera of choice. I have another camera that is not as costly that I take with me when I travel and it's not as heavy but this is my camera of choice I am going to take this prime lens and maybe a wide angle lens just in case let's go all right I am down at the Jackson Street Bridge it is a little after 4 30 p.m which the downtown connector still had some people on it, but usually it's like a parking lot. That means not moving fast at all, but it still had traffic. So Jackson Street Bridge is a famous outlook in Atlanta. I'm going to go there to see how it looks. Hopefully it's kind of vacant. We'll see. Still a few cars, but I was able to get a few images with maybe one car and one image with no cars, which is absolutely rare. So let's see where else I can get some photos in Atlanta without paying for parking. Now I'm in the thick of downtown, right there, right by where I used to work, and I'm going to grab a quick, some quick photos down here. It's very vacant. I used to work down here. It was like we had police officers actually stop traffic to let us get out of the parking garage. So. Let's go. We're still doing some construction work, but nothing really going on. Yeah. 
So the other day before shelter in place in the city of Atlanta, I went downtown and took some images. It was very eerie. It didn't even feel comfortable because there was no one downtown. We're at the Braves Stadium. The Braves Stadium is in an area called the Battery in the north side of Atlanta and it has a lot of shops and restaurants and it's completely dead. So I'm gonna walk you back to my car so you can see what's happening. There are some people out enjoying the fresh air though. Now I'm gonna go into the shopping area. There are some people at this park down here, but I'm not gonna go down there. There's too many people for me. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. How is everything where you're located in the world? Are you following the social distancing? I really hope you are. I hope you are helping flatten the curve. I'm going to throw in some of the pictures that I have taken from these um, outings after this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy as you can be. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified when next week's video comes out. Thank you so much again. Make sure you share this uh, video with your friends, family, and social media networks. Leave any comments you have down below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.